Hello and welcome to a video looking at C1 indices. Here we've been asked to evaluate 9 to the power of minus 3 halves. So the first thing to recognise when evaluating this indice that it is that it is a negative power. So if we have a negative power we need to take the reciprocal of our value and when we do that it becomes a positive power. So 9 to the minus 3 halves becomes 1 over 9 to the positive 3 halves. Now once we have done that let's evaluate this 9 to the 3 halves. So what is 9 to the 3 halves? Well we can begin by saying that it is the square root of 9 cubed. So the root, square root part comes from the 2 from the denominator and the cubed part comes from the numerator. So when we evaluate this, well that gives us 1 over, so the square root of 9 is simply 3 and so we are cubing 3. 1 over 3 cubed is the same as 1 over 27. So final answer there would be 1 over 27. Let's take a look at this example. So we're asked to evaluate um, 8, uh, 8 27ths raised to the power of negative 2 thirds. So to begin with, because again we have this negative power, we take the reciprocal of our value. So the reciprocal of 8 27ths would be 27 eighths. And when we do that, it becomes a positive power. So now we have 27 over 8 to the power of 2 thirds. I could say that this is exactly the same as 27 to the 2 thirds over 8 to the 2 thirds. So 27 to the 2 thirds, well that, let's evaluate this. this becomes the cube root of 27 squared. So the cube root is coming from the denominator, the squared part is coming from the numerator. And so that means that 8 to the 2 thirds is the cube root of 8 squared. So what does this leave us with? Well the cube root of 27 is 3, so I've got 3 squared over, <coughs> over um, the cube root of 8 squared. Cube root of 8 gives us 2, so 2 squared, and then so our final answer here would be 9 quarters, or 9 over 4. If we wanted to we could then write that as 2 and 1 quarter, but we're just going to leave it as a top heavy fraction. Okay, final example. Here I have 16x to the power of 8 raised to the power of 3 quarters. So what I need to do here is evaluate the number and um, my, my unknown value um, individually. So what will 16 to the power of 3 quarters be? So 16 to the 3 quarters is 16 to the quartic root cubed and then x to the power of 8 raised to the power of 3 quarters well when we see this situation we could just say that that is 8 multiplied by 3 quarters so 6 if you're unsure on when you see this, uh, take a look at the previous indices videos for some examples of those. So this leaves us with, so the uh, quartic root of 16 would be 2. And then we, what we have is 2 cubed, so 2 cubed, x to the power of 6. Well, 2 cubed is 8 and so what we're left with is 8 to the power of 6. And that there will be our final answer.